Today we are going to start a lecture series on differential geometry. Based on the syllabus of multivariable calculus and geometry of the MSc Mathematics third semester course. The textbook we are referring is Elementary Differential Geometry by Andrew Presley. Elementary Differential Geometry. It is the Springer 2nd edition text. Our first lecture is on Parametrized Curves. Parametrized curves. So, before going to parametrized curves, we have a question. What is a curve? We know a lot of examples for curves. The, the most simple example is, of course, straight line. Another one is a parabola. Next we have a circle. So All these have Cartesian equation representations. We know that this is the curve y equal to x or y minus x is equal to 0. And this is the parabola y is equal to x square or y minus x square is equal to 0. And this one is of course if the radius of the circle is 1 then x square plus y square is equal to 1. And all these curves have the form f of x y is equal to c. So, we can define a curve as the set of points Z which is equal to set of all x, y element of R2 such that f of x, y is equal to C. And all these three are examples for plane curves. We can find a lot of more examples like this. And also, if we have a pair of equation like this, f of x, f1 of x, y, z equal to some c1, and f2 of x, x, y, z is equal to c2, then this pair of equations gives the intersection of the, these two surfaces, and it is an intersecting curve, and this represents a space curve. So, these kinds of curves are generally called level curves. The curves which are of the form from f of x y equal to c are called level curves. Now, we have a, another way of uh, representing these curves. Or these curves can be considered as the path traced out by a moving point. Thus, if gamma of t is the position of the point at a time t the curve is described by a function gamma of a scalar variable scalar parameter t with vector values in r2 for a plane curve and in r3 for a space curve for example if we can uh, consider t as a as time then we can consider gamma of t as a path traced by a moving particle from t is equal to some alpha to t is equal to some beta, like that. So, motivating from this, we can define 
പരാമെട്രൈഫ്ഡ് കേർവ് സോ എ പരാമെട്രൈഫ്ഡ് കേർവ് ഇൻ ആർ എൻ വി ആർ ഡിഫൈനിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ആർ എൻ നൗ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ മോർ ജനറൽ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ഇസ് എ മാപ്പ് ഗാമ മാപ്പ് ഫ്രോം ഓപ്പൺ ഇൻറ്റർവൽ ആൽഫാ ബീറ്റ ടു ആർ എൻ ഫോർ സം ആൽഫാ ബീറ്റ ഇൻ ആർ വേർ ആൽഫ ലെസ് ദാൻ ബീറ്റ എ പരാമെട്രൈഫ്ഡ് കേർവ് ഹൂസ് ഇമേജ് ഈസ് കണ്ടെയ്ൻഡ് ഇൻ എ ലെവൽ കേർവ് സി ഈസ് കോൾഡ് എ പരാമെട്രൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് സി എ പരാമെട്രൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി കേർവ് ഓർ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് സി എ പരാമെട്രൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് സി ഇറ്റ് ഡിപ്പെൻസ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് റെപ്രസെൻസ് ദി എൻറ്റയർ കേർവ് വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദേ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പരാമെട്രൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി കേർവ് ഓർ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ലൈസ് ഇൻ എ ലെവൽ കേർവ് ദെൻ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പരാമെട്രൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് സി now we can have examples for a parametrified curve as a level curve and conversely a level curve as a parametrified curve so first we start with a level curve y is equal to x square now we need a parametrization gamma of t for this curve if gamma of t is equal to gamma 1 of t gamma 2 of t then this coordinates this component should satisfy the relation gamma 2 is equal to gamma gamma 2 of t is equal to gamma 1 of t the whole square and also we know that y is equal to x square represents a parabola and x takes a whole value from r so we can uh, you choose first we choose a parameter value for gamma 1 of t and the most simplest form is of course t so we can start with the t then gamma 1 of t is equal to t of course gamma of 2 gamma 2 of t is equal to t square and since this parabola takes the whole values from minus infinity to infinity we need to take t from the whole of r that means t element of open interval minus infinity to infinity so this is a parametrization for our parabola parabola more specifically gamma maps from minus infinity to infinity to r2 defined by gamma of t is equal to t t square also we have to note that this parabola has other parametrizations also for example if we can take gamma 1 of t is equal to t cube then gamma 2 of t is equal to uh, the square of that that means t raised to 6 this is another parametrization of the same parabola so a level curve may have more than one parametrization so the parametrization of a level curve is not unique now we can consider another parametrization gamma 1 of t is equal to t square and gamma 2 of t is equal to t raised to 4 but for this parametrization we know that if we draw the curve we will obtain this portion only that means x is greater than or equal to 0 here since t square is positive so this parametrization gives a part of the parabola we can consider one more example of course we start with basic curves so x square plus y square is equal to 1 then can you give an parametrization for this curve we may just start with like the uh, like earlier with the gamma 1 of t is equal to t but we have more easier choices here because we all have a beautiful trigonometric relations cos square t plus sin square t is equal to 1 so here we can take gamma of t, if gamma of t is equal to gamma 1 of t gamma 2 of t then we can take gamma 1 of t is equal to cos t and 
gamma 2 of t is equal to phi in t. Here, uh, x square plus y square is equal to 1 means more the values of x and y lies between minus 1 and 1. And also we know that the cos t and phi, the, phi, the values of cos t and phi t also lies between minus 1 and 1 for any value of t. So t can be varied from minus infinity to infinity. So gamma of t maps from minus infinity to infinity to R2. And the parameterization is cos t phi t. But here, uh, the any interval larger than closed interval 0 to 2 pi, any open interval containing closed interval 0 to 2 pi is also enough for uh, getting this curve. And also this curve has a large number of other param uh, parameterizations. Uh, for example, sin d cos t is also another parameterization like that. Okay.